what's up everybody so today is a video on my 2020 gen 2 ford raptor i have 65,500 miles on it it's a crew cab let's check it out so in the back here canopy little rug it's very spacious the seats go up of course just gotta pull them down boom they don't go all the way down because i got stuff right here it's you know so you kind of see what i use it for the little cub compartments here got some junk here stuff right here um it has this like plastic leather type of stuff i still like it got your your charger for usb got for your plug-in right here also old cigarette lighter charger type of thing ac in the back my, my truck didn't come with the back window um it's just the model i bought i did buy it used and then i got these cool tail lights it's pretty cool because you unlock it, it's like a square so you start it it's cool so when you hit the brakes these kind of like going like a square type of thing it's a cool pattern pretty dope comes with the dual exhaust like every other raptor comes fox shocks in the back some in the front what's also cool when i did buy it as well came with the squadron at the bottom of the baja designs which is perfect for off-roading if you guys like off-roading you know standard raptor stuff the little lights on the bottom the ambers three up top and then the cool amber thing that outlines the the headlights and of course the blinkers and stuff like that but yeah let's go inside and check it out Oh, and it comes with this keyless entry too, which is all standard, I think, with the Raptors. So as you come in, you know, normal shit. Let's get in here. Let's just plug this key in. So it is cool. It comes with the, a lot of the newer Raptors. My version is not, I would say, the fully loaded one. But, you know, you still get... Your rear view camera, but that's all you get when you turn the wheel, which is pretty cool. You know, it changes. I know you can take that off, but I like it. I don't really tow, so. But, you know, I do use it. Standard AC features and stuff like that. No heating and cooling seats, which is a bummer. Your outlets for your chargers and your the plug-in right there. Two USBs right here. For this cable, the iPhone comes with Apple CarPlay as well. Um, the screen, the screen response is, oh, pretty good. Phone apps, stuff like that. They ain't really much here, you know what I mean? Um, but yes. Also, it does have all your different drive modes, like that, as you can see. Deep sand. I was gonna ask me to shift. Deep Sand, Baja, Rock Crawl, Slippery, Tow tow Hall, Sport, and then Normal. And then it does have three different, you just click these buttons right here, three different steering wheel settings, Normal, Sport, Comfort, I'm always riding in Comfort. Your manual gauge, two high, four automatic, four high, four low. Yeah, I do get about 14 miles per gallon. It is a 36 gallon tank. Um, but yeah, this is what it kind of looks like from the inside. Pretty cool with the Raptor logo and these like bucket seats with like this. This is kind of this material right here is kind of cool. And then it comes with the leather and stuff like that. Yeah, I got a cracked windshield. It does come with the monitoring system up top for collision control or whatever they call it. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to any of that stuff i bought the truck to drive it so let's go ahead and drive this thing so let's go ahead and put this bad boy in a drive seat belt first and it's gonna let you know so yeah i've i had this truck for a little over a year i bought it with twenty one thousand miles on it i have sixty five thousand five hundred fifteen five and this is my dream truck 450 horsepower 500 pound feet of torque this thing 
for it being a 3.5 liter v6 honestly it gets the job done um i got no complaints um with this truck i don't think I ever will this is my dream truck so you know i love it just wait for this car to pass let's go now i know that the gen 3 is out and that's also a v6 and they got a gen 3 raptor r that just came out that i've been seeing here where i live i live in california and i heard one today actually making this video and wow that thing is phenomenal it looks beautiful looks great but yeah so you know with this driving the way it does drive you know it it's it does its job it's smooth um the inside you can't really hear too much of anything inside because it's a v6 watch i don't know if you hear the little blow out valve from the turbos it is a 3.5 liter v6 eco boost but it's a twin turbo so they say high output but you know it's as best as it can be with engine wise from ford i do like taking it out to the desert uh hitting the trails if you guys ever been to Ocotillo, uh there's gonna be a video up here soon of me you know riding around Ocotillo. you know i'm gonna put the gopros on the outside and everything like that it'll it'll be pretty cool but yeah so once i get some we're gonna go around town real quick hopefully i can sneak guess not sneak in front of it of this car but not letting us we can try the zero to 60 and see how that goes. But too many cars. Here's a few things. Here's three things I like about this track. One, it's very capable. It's very capable to go anywhere you want to go. You can drive anywhere, rain, snow, desert, wherever you want. A lot of people that I know use it to go on like Baja runs and hit the desert and but that's here in California where I'm from at least where San Diego where the people I know um, but also I just love the truck two you can do so many things to this truck as in shocks lights you know interior put a sat radio in here um, put the Baja lights on the top right here like LP4s XL80s squadrons and stuff like that there's so many options that you can get for this truck and pretty much for any truck but for this truck specifically that i like so hopefully i can get some lp4s or xl80s to put right here on the hood but amber i don't like the white one i like the amber ones um and then i just like my rims and tires on this truck for the third thing i like now there is a few things they don't really they're not really bad about the truck um it takes a lot of money to put gas in this thing you know what i mean it's a 36 gallon tank so you know it's it's a pretty penny to fill fill this up but you know you get what you pay for and i'm not one to complain about oh i gotta fill it up because you know i'm driving i love driving this thing i'll drive i drive this thing everywhere but yeah so i'm gonna head we're gonna head out to a spot here near me and i'll kind of hit some dirt and stuff like that for you guys so you can see and feel hopefully feel or just visualize with me how good this truck is off-road it won't be too crazy but it'll be enough where we can you know experience it all right guys we here let's rip it now i'm in two-wheel drive you don't need to be in pro drive i already went through it once just to see how it is hopefully we don't get too butt hurt Oh, they're leaving. We'll let them leave first. Oh, we'll go pop from first.
<laughs> Can't see shit. <laughs> Everybody's supportive around here. Everybody likes it. We'll hit it one more time, then we'll dip out of here so nobody gets. Of course. Every the little shenanigans. Here comes homeboy. We'll just chill out. Sheesh! We'll go. <laughs> that was fun while it lasted. Oh, the homies helped me out there. They told me to stop because they saw the the park ranger, so that's cool. But yeah, I mean, shoot, if you don't get hyped up about going through some puddles with your truck, I don't know what will get you excited. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, that's my little review on my Raptor. Thanks to the homies right there telling me to stop because they saw the popo -po back there. Or park rangers, hell yeah. I mean, it's not like I was doing anything anyways. I was just conquering the terrain. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.